Thank you for joining the National Weather Service in Missoula for our planning briefing. Today is Sunday, December 6, 2020. We'll be going through the next week's worth of weather impacts for the Northern Rockies. Starting with our impact summary, high pressure will remain across the region through Monday with fog and low stratus fairly common from valleys in northwest Montana and degraded air quality across the region. We'll follow that up with increasing chances of moisture Tuesday and Wednesday. There'll be a wintry mix possible in the valleys, mainly northwest Montana, with mountain snow becoming more common. We'll get a chance of snow at all elevations on Wednesday as well. The stormy mild pattern will follow Thursday through the weekend with snow levels climbing to 5,000 feet in a surge of Pacific moisture. Temperatures during the day will cause some, some melting of snow and ice, but overnight, ice will reform with the freezing temperatures. We'll drill down a little further. Through Monday, we'll be seeing what we've been seeing for the last several days, and that includes fog and stratus for northwest Montana. Here highlighted in the image is the fog and low stratus that's been consuming the Flathead Valley, Mission Valley, all the way up to Eureka and Libby, mm -hmm. and even occasionally for Missoula and points west on Interstate 90, including Superior and Alberton and St. Regis. These, have, these areas of fog and stratus have led to poor air quality, and for areas outside of this foggy, foggy region, we'll be seeing dry conditions and high clouds. Then we get into Tuesday and we see that there's a little bit of a chance of ice accumulation. This would suggest from our weather models that freezing rain is possible across northwest Montana and the weather scenario certainly supports it. The accumulations do not look to be very much. Most areas here including the Flathead Valley, Libby, uh, Highway 200 corridor including Thompson Falls and up near the border near Eureka are only seeing a couple hundredths if that of uh, freezing rain uh, expected during this time and this is through Tuesday morning here. Then we'll follow that up with Wednesday snow and here is a chart and this is ending on Thursday morning for the previous 24 hours what the probability of snow for one inch two inches and four inches is across the northern Rockies. You can see that the mountain passes appear to be pretty favored, especially in, in north central Idaho. Higher elevations generally are more favored than the low elevations for snow accumulations of one inch. And we can see this also up here in the West Glacier, uh, Pole Bridge, Essex, and all the way down to Seely Lake other points near the divide, uh, near the, the uh, Continental Divide and, and Glacier Park. But then in the valley regions such as Missoula and Kalispell and to a lesser extent Butte, we can see lower expectations for an inch. The amounts get even lower once we, uh, for probabilities, once we get to the two inch margin, it basically favors uh, mountain passes, particularly Lolo, Lookout, and Marias Pass and the high elevations of Glacier Park in North Central Idaho. And four inch accumulations appear to be uh, a low probability for higher elevations of Northwest Montana and North Central Idaho. And we can see in the eight to 14 day outlook uh, from December 13th to 19th, the Northern Rockies will see occasional Pacific storms and slightly warmer than normal temperatures. Uh, this is a departure from the pattern we've seen thus far where we did have above normal temperatures but also dry conditions. Once we get moisture into the region, we'll be seeing warmer temperatures at pretty much every elevation. More details on this later. And finally, to our weather impact summary. We're expecting that freezing fog to become an issue for northwest and west central Montana on Monday morning with the freezing rain and snow starting to come down to elevate lower elevations in northwest Montana. And then snow for pretty much all elevations outside of Lemai County. However, as noted before, the accumulations are fairly low and perhaps some lingering freezing rain for far northwest Montana. Snow will be 
mostly confined to pass areas and little accumulation on Thursday and even trailing off into Friday where additional surges of moisture from the Pacific may be driving up snow levels so this may be a mixture of snow and rain for these passes by the time we get to the weekend. And that concludes our briefing for the, today. Please uh, note the following ways to get a hold of us if you have any questions. And also follow us on our social media platforms and become aware of our videos as soon as we produce them. Thank you and have a nice day.